I wanted to be on the VA committee for a variety of reasons. One, I'm the son of a veteran, and uh, in North Carolina, we have nearly a million veterans. And when we came in, I came into office, the VA was in bad shape. And under President Trump and Secretary Wilkie, it's gone from one of the least liked places to work to one of the most liked places to work. They've changed the culture, they've made it all about the veteran, and they've made huge progress. Most veterans like going to veterans' uh, facilities for care. But if they can't get the service at the time they need it, then they have the option of going into the private community to get the health care that they deserve. The Mission Act really is making sure that the veteran gets the care they need and the time they want it and the place they want it. But what we also have to do, I chair the personnel subcommittee, number one is to find veterans jobs and, and give them the opportunity and encourage employers to hire a veteran. If somebody has an illness that we believe is linked to the toxic substances at Camp Lejeune, they shouldn't have to fight to get recognition. We should assume that that exposure was the cause of their disease and provide them with care. And so over the course of the past couple of years working with Senator Burr, we've gotten the VA to change the presumption to have far more people and their families who are also affected by the toxic substances that are now receiving care that weren't before I came here to the Senate. Well, when President Trump ran, he said that he was going to make uh, veterans a top priority, and I think it's pretty clear that he has. He's also very committed to the military and working with President Trump under his leadership, under Secretary Wilkie's leadership, and Secretary Esper's leadership, I think we'll make huge progress in this Congress 